clippers on the market today are everywhere. We have tons of them. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes my mind just spins and I just want to say, give me a clipper and let me go. Because there are so many options that we're going to help today to kind of explain a little bit about some of them. Primarily why if you are grooming, and I'm sure you are because we all are, these big matted furry doodle poodles, cockapoodles, whatever brand you can mix with a poodle, it's probably out there these days. So with that type of coat, especially the ones who are farm doodles, and don't laugh, you know what a farm doodle is, I know you've seen one, you need a good A5 style clipper. This is going to be your main brand clippers, your Heinegers, your Andis ZR2s, your Andis um, XL5 speeds, your Artero Hits, your Wall KMs, KMXs. These are your A5 clippers. They are all the type of clippers that take our detachable blades and will fit any of those type of clippers. These clippers are what have the highest torque, the, the actual blade drive and blade levers that can withstand going through that thick, matted, heaven love you if you get the one that's played in a pond type coat. You may have hand issues. You may use an Andis 5-in-1. You may use a Wall Bravura, a Heinegger Midi, a Joyzy. This is the Joyzy D series. All of those are great trimmers. You may hear them called clippers because they are, for all intents and purposes, a, a clipper. However, what you will notice about all of those, even the D series, they have plastic backings on them and two little tiny metal wires that you're trying to push through that farm doodle coat. Now, not saying that it can't be done. It can. I've seen it done. I myself have done it. However, it's going to wear your blade out faster. It's going to wear your trimmer out faster because they're just not designed for that. So don't hear this video and think, oh, I can't use that because you can. It's just going to wear out on you much quicker. Your motors are going to burn out much faster on you. All of these don't even have a blade drive or a lever to change out. They literally have a metal peg that spins and causes your cutter to move back and forth. Now, if you don't keep this cutter notch greased, that will actually wallow out and it will have a big circular pattern from that metal pin and then your blade will no longer cut for you. Now, I say all this to say, if you are going to groom, especially those big dogs, you need you a good A5 clipper. Use it just on those dogs. If you're doing a little Yorkie, a little Maltese, go to your D-Series or your Walbrever. Give your hand a break by all means. However, make sure you have a backup A5 series clipper that's going to have that torque, going to take those blades that we're also used to using, and is going to get your job done for you quicker and not fry out as quickly as some of the smaller motors, less torque trimmers will. Again, this is why you should have an A5 trimmer. Even if you don't use it all the time, get you an A5 trimmer if you don't have one to have as a backup.